All right. What's up, guys? So, uh, when we last left off, we were going to go meet with the Moogles of the... What's it called? The Churning Mists in Mog Home. Ah, uh, yes. Mog Home. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're going right now. Who do we need to talk to? A Moghan? Where are you, Moghan? What's up, my boy, Moghan? Moghan would... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I must equip me warrior. It's not all you. Nani? 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 Let's go. Moghan would test your trustworthiness with a trial. Hello, yes, I am Moghan, the foremost alchemist in Mog Home. If you must know, if your tummy's gloopy or your wings are droopy, you have a potion to fix that. Or I would if I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do my uh, trial. Yes! Go forth, mighty adventurer, and mightily pluck three sprigs of cloud's breath for me. You'll find it blooming near the entrance of El Tom. It's not the safest of places, so don't let yourself be too distracted by the pretty flowers, Koopo. Seems like each one's gonna be like a little side quest, so why don't we just accept them all? Mog Mug. Mog Mug would test your trustworthiness with a trial. Hmm, yes, you have the pleasure of speaking with Mog Mug. I know, I know. I am the fluffiest, most enchanting creature you've ever laid eyes upon, Koopo. It isn't easy being this adorable. I can barely take a stroll outside with those relentless Dravanians throwing themselves at me. Why, they look as if they might just gobble me right up. In any case, fleeing the overbearing adulation is growing a bit tiresome. Your trial, madam, is this. Find these ardent archaeosaurs and slap some manners into them, Koopo. Perhaps a firm smack on the snout will teach them to appreciate my charm from afar. Bring twigs, destroy Dravanians, and... Mog wins the name, and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mog home who can match my talent with a brush, Kippo. I know you have come, Chieftain Moglin has demanded that I test your trustworthiness, but I trust no one to create art that will satisfy me. I instead charge you with reinventing you blew it. the piece I seem to have misplaced. It was an ambitious and innovative work, guaranteed to fetch at least four Koopo nuts on the open market. You must find it. Question the masses. Surely a pebble painted, uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to pause the video and check that out. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's ask the people around here if they've seen a good ass painting. Mogwin is missing his masterpiece, Koopo. Oh, you mean that paint-smeared mess of a pebble? I've not seen it recently. A fact for which my eyes are profoundly grateful. Damn. I guess it must not look that good. The muddled Moogle. Maestro Mogwin has misplaced his masterpiece, Koopo? Oh, happy day. <laughs> if I am the swifter in finding it, I will soon have a genuine Mogwin for the price of a little perspiration. Honestly, who has four coupon nuts just lying about to spend on such luxuries? Are coupon nuts that hard to come by? Dude, look at this guy. He's big. Hmm. I don't know much about his stone, but I do know Mogwin's been creeping out the back way to Som Al Summit for some time, Koopo. Maybe he left it up there. All right, Mogwin, so I asked everybody. Everybody hates your stone, dude. Well, what did you find out, Kubo? Nah, yes. Now that you mention it, I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. Nah, <laughs> the second part of your trial commences. Go, adventure, and retrieve my masterpiece before some art-starved admirer swipes the stone for himself. All right, here's a, what, cloud's breath? Hey, leave me alone, dude. I need one more of those. While I'm here. Yes! Ah! Did 
we just gotta beat two of these. The bull. He's here. Done. Bell cleave. We just need one more of that grass. Wait, he got that Moogle grass. I bet you that's what he wants it for. Just trying to chill out, if you know what I mean. There it is. Wow, dude. Okay. It took me a long time to find this. We just got to get that stone. How do we get up there? Be up there, no? Lost the little Moogle house. Up through these little moogle rocks. There's Mog Mill, the millionaire moogle. Right here, the painted stone. And it's in the shade, dude. Didn't get much sun at all. Where do you get sun from? You know what? I don't think I've seen this place in the day. Alright, let's turn in his master's masterpiece. Magwin, do you have it, Kubo? Is my masterpiece safe? Oh, yes. Uh, it is. Yes, this is my work. It's, is it not exquisite? I call it Contemplations of Zenith. Thank you, madam. At last I can exchange my art for those delectable Kubo nuts. Chieftain Moglin will hear of his valorous deed. Let me get that chestnut. Let me get that chestnut. Should I get the hard silver rapier? I do have an red mage I can use it, but I'm gonna get the materia. Oh Mog Mug, good news. You were able to humble humble my Dravanian devotees. Wonderful. You are as capable as I am captivating, Kupo. Still, my precious perfection does not excuse those louts from pursuing me so mercilessly. Their tongues lolling and bellies rumbling. The Dravanians and the Ilk have much to learn about acceptable acts of admiration. And then we'll get what? What? I guess this is, I don't know if it's better, but it's probably better for my retainer. And they're looking for someone to do his bidding. I will not do that. Not yet. Mogomo. And then Moghan. Here you go. Did you have trouble finding Cloud's Breath? Yeah, kind of. I do need it quite urgently, you know. Shut up. Here you go, stupid flowers. Oh, yes. These are perfect, Kubo. Now I have the main ingredient for my palm tonic. Speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your palm losing its bounce, then I'm your Moogle, Kubo. You mean my lustrous hair? Let's get that quick tongue. Yes! Now, what say you, Moglin? No, not you, dude. You. You. Chieftain Moglin is ready to pass judgment on your trial performance. Olivia. If this is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trustworthiness administered by the Taskmasters Mog Han, Mog Mog, and Mog Win. During these gruelous tests of character, I closely observed your conduct, as well as that of your companions. And I am decided, Kupo. Gather your friends before me now so that I need not repeat myself needlessly. Alright, guys! Everybody get together! Ooh, what is this? The Magret. Oh, it's one of those, uh, in desperate need of a bat. Are these trials over then? My task have been little more than household chores. If our, <laughs> if our hosts elect not to grant their aid after working us like pack chocobos, I shall demand compensation and coupon nuts out of principle. But I hope it will not come to that. Let us hear the Chiftian's verdict, shall we? You just had house chores for everyone. That's great. <laughs> huh? 
How go your trials, warrior of light? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragon population. Did not the chieftain wish to avoid inflaming the dragons? <laughs> Such contradictions aside, our host seemed entranced by the height of my leap. They compared me to Mog, a lance-wielding Mughal warrior of El, who also favored such attacks. It was meant as a compliment, I expect, but I doubt these furry lumps could outleap a caracol lamb, much less a dragoon. Conclude your business here swiftly, Olivia. I like not this place. Mog, are they talking about the one from Final Fantasy VI, dude? They probably are. Connie Senna, what did you have to do? Standing here in Mog home, my thoughts turn inevitably to the legend of good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Like most, I thought it no more than a myth, a story for younglings that grew with the telling. But with every passing moment, I become more certain that we have discovered the origin of the tale. Full eager am I to hear what the chieftain has to say. Isail? Would you join us? What sorcery is this? My heart should stir at mere fluffiness. <laughs> Olivia, I, I was. No matter. What is it? Chiefian Moglin has made his decision? Or let us not keep him waiting then. That's so cute. It just reminds me of how, like, um. Robin from One Piece is, like, entranced with really cute things, too. We've become such friends, Kupo. My Mughal cousins love to sing and dance much as I do. Chieftain Moglin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I'd better flutter over and see him then. Dude, that guy was talking mad shit for my name. And I appreciate him for that. Let's go. Nobody's here. Let's see. Are all the chores complete? <laughs> Never have I seen such determined workers, Kipo. I would have taken us moons to complete all those dreary chores and niggling errors. <laughs> and have our labors proven the purity of our intentions, Chieftain? Without a doubt. In fact, there was never really all that much doubt to begin with. You were, after all, already friends with a fellow Mughal. But you see, before any meeting with Rasvalga could take place, certain preparations needed to be made. And what better way to have you pass the time than by having you perform all the tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do, Kubo? <laughs> I am not amused. Oh dear, the, 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 the horn, bring the horn quickly now. We blow on this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak to the great worm, Kubo. We, uh, we haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late, and I think Moghan may have sat on it. So we needed some time for cleaning and polishing and straining. No lasting harm done, though. Now you need simply head to Zenith, the worm's dwelling to the west, and give the horn a good toot. We are in your debt, Chieftain. Thank you. To, thanks to your noble gift, we shall finally have a chance to plead our case to Hrasvalga. Very possibly, yes. But I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, Kubo. The old worm isn't terribly fond of me. Your concern is appreciated, but I am quite certain that Harass Valga will welcome our overtures. No, he won't. <laughs> Should we ever arrive to his lair? Come, we have squandered enough time already. Do it yourself. Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality. Though we must soon take our leave, I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of this new-sprung friendship. 
twixt earth and sky. Of course, of course, Kubo. Visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mogholm your home amongst the clouds. Hi. Nice. Aw, oh, look at the little moogle paws. Look like a little cat. All right, Moghan. Where are we going? Thanks for the help, Kupo. I doubt I would ever have found the time for all those rotten chores. H hey, it wasn't my idea. If the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and a little more time chieftaining, things would never have gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. <laughs> but now, all the errands are done and the horn is fixed. So all's well that ends well, eh, Kupo? Yes, Kupo, let's go to... Any mod hand is ready to lead you out of Mog Home. Well, uh, I expect you're eager to be on your way. Did I mention your friend was looking for you, Gubo? If not, Alphano is looking for you. I'll be waiting just outside, stretching my wings. Let me know when you're ready to depart. I'll say you, Alphano. To the best of my knowledge, we have all the we need for our trip to Zenith. And I believe the Elder Seed Seer and her ri retinue? And I believe the Elder Seed Seer and her retinue will soon be making the journey back to Gridania. Retinue? I don't know. It, it would be remiss of us, I think, not to convey our gratitude to them prior to going our separate ways, shall we? Hey, get out of here, dude. We don't need to talk to you anymore. Get out. Go. You don't belong here. Alphano, Olivia, I do humbly thank you for what you would have been a most enlightening experience. Were it not for your pioneering spirit, an existence of the Mughals might never have been revealed to us. Tis we who should be thankful, Elder Seedseer. Were it not for your timely diplomacy, diplomacy, they would never have chosen to reveal themselves at all. And twas your present, Kuklop, Kuplo Kop, that ultimately won us their trust. It must have been great courage to have to leave the sanctuary of the Twelve's Wood, and we are exceedingly glad that you did. It was my pleasure, Kupo. I made so many new friends and have so many fantastic tales to tell my kin's moogles back home. And it is our home that we must now return. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal, my friend. Safe journey, Elder Seedseer. We too must be on our way. Pras Valga awaits. Uh oh. Why did the music end? What do you have to say to us? Well, you have light. Pray attend, close, pray attend closely to your companions. To Istinian, beneath that stoical facade. A storm of anguish seeds unseen. What does that mean? Estinian's kind of like really wants to get at Rusbelger right now, or what? I look out of here. Well, that was a nice little helping of Mughal humor, but now we gotta get serious. We gotta go there. Dang, that reminds me of like that place in Final Fantasy XII. What was it? Like the Sky and City? Bujerba. There we go. Have you said your goodbyes and dabbed away your tears, Kubo? Then we are indeed ready to go. Let's go! What do we get? Titanium Mail of Fending. Ooh. Ooh. That looks I, I guess. Let's go. Moghan has volunteered to lead you to Zenith. As Chieftain Moglin already explained, the shiny instrument we gave you is the best means of grabbing Hrasfalga's attention. I'll come along and show you the way to Zenith. It's a big place where you need to blow the horn. First things first, though, we need to make for Hassa and have watched for rampaging dragons. Hmm. Maybe that should have been the first thing, Kupo. <laughs> Mm. 
Where is emote? <laughs> what do you want? I'm a B. On my way. Oh, you have light. And then I will flex. Go. <laughs> oh, the music. I've only heard the night theme, which has a really good sound to it. I guess we must fight these dragons then. Oh, this is like part of the story. Okay, okay, okay. Fun guy. Done. Out of my way, Dravonians. You can't stop me. Get this wolf. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm not going the right way. Another dragon lies in wait. Another dragon has to fall then. On God! No, no event. Swap! Swap! Oh! Not only one, but three dragons! <laughs> Come now, dragon! That's it. That wasn't bad. Talking to a warrior! Let's go. Just gonna run it there now. I like the way we get Vieira's run. I think Vieira's have the best run. Not the best run though. The best run kinda looks kinda like, it looks kinda weird when Vieira's run. The best just walking. All right, things were a bit bitey for a while there, but I think we've arrived in one piece, Kubo. I wonder what the dragon's so awfully snappy. I mean, the bad ones are always bad, but they seem worse than usual. That's because they know I'm coming to slay their master. Now we're equipped with the titanium male of Fendina. There we go. Now it matches our axe. Cool. My hand seems fretful about the weather, and then we get the Raimi Cove of Captain. Hmm, we may have a small problem, Kupo. When the winds are high like this, Rasfalga invariably abandons his lofty perch and heads to the lands below to hunt. If you tried blowing the horn now, I doubt he'd hear it. I suggest we stop at the clearing up ahead and rest until the wind dies down. What wind? It's day. I know that, but I seem to always arrive here at night. That's why I say that. This place is pretty cool. Nice arena. Is this what this is? Are we going to fight someone here? This should do nicely, Koopo. The winds will likely have died down by tomorrow, but until then, we might as well make ourselves comfortable. If we must interpret our journey so close to its end, I suppose this place is as good as any. And mayhap a brief respite from the hardships of the road will have will help to clear our minds in readiness for the coming parley. Very well then, I believe a campfire is in order. Leave the gathering of fuel to me. I acquire I had acquired a keen nose for firewood during my time in the frozen wastes of curse. <laughs> Always needed a picket, I guess. We did hardly even spent time there. We just left as soon as the quest ended. 
clear our minds. Tis Master Alpha know whose mind needs clearing. The thought of meeting a great worm in the flesh has befuddled the boy. Did you see him stroll away as if these ruins were not crawling with deadly beasts? Follow him, Olivia, and see that the wildlife does not make a meal of our young friend. We will have the camp ready by the time you return. Alpha No can handle himself, maybe. There was nobody at both of these locations. Where did Alpha No go? Did he really just like run away? It's Tinny and you should come with me, bro. I didn't find him. I see. I was ready. I was right to worry about the boy's safety. Once Alpha No returns with the wood, we can see about supper. The Ice Queen has filled a pot with what look like stew ingredients ready for the fire. Ice Queen. Didn't even call her by her name. <laughs> I have wood. That's it? That's all you can find? Doesn't look like very much. Dude. That's not gonna last us all night. Don't worry, I'm a botanist, dude. I'll take care of this. Look at the little mogus. <laughs> ah, few things compared to the simple pleasure of sitting beside a crackling campfire of one's own making. Ha! So speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognized firewood if it came with kindling and a flint. <laughs> Tis well you instructed me so patiently then. But yes... Left to my own devices, I would have been compelled to signal to your sail with a pile of damp leaves. <laughs> I was born the pampered son of a Charlian dignitary, and, alongside my twin, became the youngest student ever to be accepted into the student. How proud I was to match wits with scholars and philosophers. How ignorant of mine own shortcomings. That hubris invited manipulation and betrayal, and led to the downfall of the Scions. We, all of us, are guilty of similar ignorance. How many men lay down their lives never knowing what it is that they fight for, never questioning that which they have been taught to believe. It was only upon meeting Husvaga that I learned the truth hidden within our history. Were it not for the chance encounter, I would never have vowed to tear down the holy seed and expunge the falsehoods with which it fans the flames of hope. I would have lived and died in ignorance. If the truth has driven me to do terrible things, I cannot deny, but I would rather sin in the pursuit of peace than imagine myself virtuous for perpetuating a needless war. This journey has taught me anything. It is the importance and difficulty of holding to one's convictions in the face of failure, of striving always to replace one's ignorance with knowledge. You are well on your way, Master Alpha No. At your age, I was but a fool swinging a spear, with scarcely a thought in my head. Even now, I struggle to acknowledge the misconceptions under which I have lived. Sitting here amongst these grand ruins, how can I deny that man and dragon once lived in peace? But for all that such an age existed, we are now in a time of war. Nidhogg killed my family, and no quirk of history will exonerate me. I may be ignorant of how the Dragon Song War began, but if we do not put an end to this conflict now, 
I can say for a certainty that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine. My hands resides the power to vanquish a great worm. If Ishgard's survival rests on me wielding that power, I will slay, Nid slay Nidhogg himself. Or does it know? Estinian, you gave your word! My word is contingent upon the success of our party. Show me the strength of your convictions, Lady Iceheart. Convince Hasvalgar of the righteousness of your part. Doubt not, but I shall, Dragoon. Well, winds willing, we shall have our answers on the morrow. Let us sleep now and face our fate with the rising of the sun. And then it's night time. All right, give me that robe. Ah, uh, it is the day. Heart of ice. Mark Han is gazing meaningfully at the path of Tzenin. And we get the bridges of Fenty. The campfire was so cozy. I must have fallen asleep, Kupo. Do you feel how the winds have shifted? They will have borne Rasfalga back to the skies above Zenith, I'm sure of it. This is your chance to climb to the highest floor of the palace and summon him with a toot on that shiny horn. So, uh, I I'll be heading back now if that's all the same to you. <laughs> Good luck, Hoopo. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> he doesn't trust that we'll be back. But we will, Moogle! Dragons have a real nice home, man. Nice, dude. This guy's we got like an electric storm going on right now. Ooh, a crystal. Or a, a crystal. Never mind. And a summoning stone. Zenny. The stone bears a striking resemblance to the combo. Alright, let's affinity. Ooh, dude! Wow! Get away from this aura. Dude, look at this place. It's freaking huge, man. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, right? Dragons, whatever. Look at that. Look at that. We've reached Zenith. There's people here. Wow. Go ahead and affinitate. All right. Here we go. We're going to... Toot for Horsfalger. One toot for Horsfalger. The horn. It beckons Olivia. I didn't know I could play an instrument like that. language. Oh no. White Fatalis. Oh no no. Dad, this is 
that that rock. Look, he has like a tiger snoot. Grace Velga. Grace Velga. S in arm and arm. We've always been Grace able to Felga. speak with dragons. Do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. Shiva! Oh. But speak it I must! I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. I have surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn. What is going on right now? What is this? in her eyes no <laughs> be that as it may Lord Hracefelger Bizel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real and it has borne us this far true we would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness <laughs> Don't eat me, bro. Are we gonna fight him now? Thornton is a bad guy? Okay, 
Wow. Si Fimon y Rata Tosca Nis Egg Ed Four Always in Dar Cal Egg Monthorn Ed Yumi Alay Fe in Leta Working Uskin in San Hes Shisnishka Stadrana goes deep look he's missing an eye your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was taught how convenient that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility but tell me dragon why should I believe your version of events Then the seed lies within us. to such a transformation looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon I imagined it's some manner of Dravanian enchantment but if any Ishgardian regardless of allegiance has such potential within them twelve forgive us to think of all the dragons we've slain These we're all people what did not simply raise Ishgard to the ground. Now I have my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragonsong War, for it is no war at all, but vengeance, an eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. In the I have not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Mayhap our words will sway him. Nah, dog. <laughs> Oh, 
He didn't want any of it. He was like, you know what, guys? This isn't even about you. His father was every bit as awe-inspiring as I had imagined. His voice fit, barely dripped with power. The will behind his words so undeniable that it transcended my ignorance of the dragon's tongue. Tis but a pity that I misliked what he said. Ah, so far did we travel, even unto the very heavens themselves, only to be dismissed like unruly children. And far from mitigating this humiliation, the hidden truths we have learned serve only to prove that our grand mission of peace was destined to fail from the first. Nothing will deter Nidhogg from his course. Nope. We gotta fight him head on. Alphano is considering your party's next course of action. Why am I a black man? Well, what do you propose we do now? I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. What is there to be found in the east? Another eye. Nidhogg's lair, the Airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. Dude, if we don't, he gonna be killing a lot of people. You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word and aided you in this fool's errand with Reisvogger. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. Yep. Let's go. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, lady. I would but pierce its vengeful heart. When Nidhogg dies, this war shall die with him. A moment, Astinian. You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength, that you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? Even behind the stout walls of Ishgard, with an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. Home in turf. close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And if the tales are true, the warrior of light has bested many an invincible foe. <sighs> but such speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. Dude, where does he even keep that thing? The story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. Must death always be answered with more of the same? Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. Estinian is about it. I should be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed, everything I thought I was, gone, all gone. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith. Wow. That's a good line right there. <laughs> like a quote among quotes <sighs> leave her and you sell all defeated what false god is my sheep what manner of phantom have I welcomed into my heart uh good luck with that bro we'll see you downstairs that's it that's the airy Mid hogs layer. Is there like another level to this? Like, are we gonna reach another land like this place? 
Okay, okay. Estinian, you think this is the place? Is that it? Hi. Aye. Aye. <laughs> that would be the airy. I feel Nidhogg's presence through the eye. His caustic hatred gnawing no, at my soul. It would seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark how he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. Tempestuous. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. We can do the same, dark crystals. Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no? <laughs> We're always asking for Sid's help. He's like one of the smartest dudes we know. All right, so we're gonna end that there. White turn of events. Everything here is all because of these dudes right here. They just killed everybody, and then they ate those eyes, and then they were like, "Oh, you know what? We're powerful now." <sighs> now the dragons hate them, and I hate them too. F the Ishgar. <laughs> So I guess we're going to talk to uh, Sid Garland next episode. So we'll see you then, guys. If you're still here, leave, leave a like, drop a subscribe. Join me here on the next episode. Peace.